Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, PySpark real-time scenarios, uh, today session I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenarios, parallel processing in Python. So when it comes to Spark, Spark is parallel processing and uh, it's a distributed system. But when it comes to Python, Python is uh, not a default parallel processing. But if you want to utilize the parallel processing features, so we need to use a separate library for that. So the, how to use parallel processing in Python? So that we will see with the examples. Let's start with the create a notebook. I'm going to create a new notebook in Databricks. Python. Parallel processing. Or you can say multi-threading. So Consider, uh, I want to create a file dynamically and I want to write some data into that file using core Python. Okay, create new data file using Python dynamically. Okay, so how to create a uh, file, a dynamic process, dynamic uh, process or you can say reusable process. So what I'll do, I'll create one function, create file. Then I will pass input parameter as a file name, file name. Then here what I'll do, I will open a file. In uh, temp location consider, there I'll create one, one folder called uh, files. Okay, then inside that, I'll create a file name. I'll create a file name. So for that file name, same file name, input parameter, whatever we are passing, we'll create a file name dynamically, this file name. Okay, and then because it's a parameter, we are passing that. So just we'll go with the concatenation and uh, dot txt file, dot txt file. Then we need to open this file, open this file with a mode. So we are going to create a new file. So I'm going to create with write mode. Then what I'll do, I will use a for loop. Then I will read some values, like uh, I'll read some values, 10,000 or 100k records. So I'll read this data, then I'll write into this file. Just I want to create some file dynamically. So what I'll do, I'll write into this file using the right method, sample data, writing. Okay. So just close properly this one. So just I'm writing this numbers like a one to 100k records I'm going to write into in this file. Then once we write into this file, then we can close that. We can close that. Even you can, if you want to print, you can print a messages, file created as just I'll create specify file name here same way okay now even if you want to return the file name you can return the file name just uh, so this is core python core python always remember when it comes to data bricks core python can refer temp folder not in dbfs whenever you use a percentage fs right percentage fs or you can see db utilities fs file system default it will prefer distributed file system distributed file system let's look at this so most of the people will have a confusion on file system here so whenever you are using a python whenever you are using a pyspark pyspark default can communicate a distributed file system starting with the dbfs core python will communicate uh, outside the distributed file system that is linux box which is the default your cluster location so you have to use file colon then inside that we will create one folder that folder i will create here files just create a folder mk dirs folder is created just list the folder so folder is available, folder is available. Let's call this function with some file name. So it should create that file. So 
sample. Just I'm calling that with some value, that's all. So what will happen? It will create a file inside this sample.txt. And you see data is written here. Even data is written in the sample.txt. Same function I want to call multiple times, call multiple times. And uh, I want to create a multiple times, or you can say I want to create uh, multiple files dynamically. I want to create multiple files dynamically. So if you want to use a parallel processing option, what we can do, we can use a multi-threading option. So we can import from multi-processing API. So there you can import a pool, thread pool. You can import thread pool. Thread pool is, is one of the function which is available in multi-processing API. So then we can define how many threads we are looking for. Depends on your CPUs. Depends on your CPUs. You can define threads. Threads are you can say parallel processes. So, so I will create thread pool as eight because here we'll be having a default maximum parallel processes. Eight parallel processes depends on two CPUs. So what I'll do? I'm define as eight parallel process that will be created eight parallel process that is called threads eight threads it can run same time so in this thread you can find a function we can use a function called map and we can use this uh, function which we created here the same function which we can pass with or we can give a values the file name we gave is sample file name right instead of that i want to give file names dynamically that is called parameters. What I'll do, I will give parameters in Python list. So, what I'll do, I'll generate some file names dynamically using range function. I want to create 100 files. So, file name also I want to start with one. Let's do here. So, for loop, read each variable from this 0 to 99, then you can convert into string, you can convert into string, and even you can concatenate, even you can concatenate sample, yes, here. So what this will do, it will pass a sample value, then zero, sample zero, sample one, sample two, sample three, like this, 100, file names it will generate 100 file names it will generate that file name we are going to pass here as the input parameter if you run this what will happen it will call this function dynamically and it will create 8 8 files in parallel you see this these are the files it is creating you see this it's already created you can verify in this location you can find 100 files file name start with 0, 1, 2, 3, like this. Let's see this. These are our files created. So dynamically, we created multiple files with a parallel option. Parallel option means multi-processing. Python is providing one of the package, or you can say one of the API is called multi-processing. There you can import the function called a thread pool. So that thread pool, which you can define how many threads you want to run same time. So I define eight threads. So depends on your CPU. Okay, depends on your CPUs, which we can use threads. So that thread pool will be having a map function. There we are calling it two arguments. One is a function name. The second one is input arguments. Input argument in a list. Multiple values we are giving, right? So this function is having input argument is file name. So that file name I am passing here. Okay, so this way which we can utilize a Python parallel processing option. By default, Python does not have a parallel process option, but we can utilize using multi-processing API. We can use this and we can implement in Databricks. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and see you in another video. Thank you for watching my videos.